I'll give you a five minute thing. Because we have the interview, it's like 17 oh. minutes long. Hey, you're well. welcome to the LTC Sessions. I'm your host, Maximus Sack, and this month we've got an extra special treat for you, the Rhythm Ship, all the way from Alton, New Hampshire. So without any further ado, where are you going? Where are you going? You can miss me on the camera. This is what people tune in for, the Rhythm Ship.
watching the LTC sessions, and we're here in Alton, New Hampshire, with our featured band, The Rhythm Ship. That's us. So, what is there to do in Alton uh, besides play music? I uh, play music. Is that about it? <laughs> I, I think that's the only fishing? thing that's really worth doing. Really ice fish. Chop cord wood. Yeah. So, so ice fishing? You guys all go ice fishing? Oh yeah. yeah. If you go as a band. We have not it. yet. Oh, yeah, we should. We should. Oh, we've we never will. been ice Maybe we could. Uh, we, we should build like a band. This February, check 2015. For like they can do yeah. ice sea all of us for yeah. them ship to sail on the frozen seas. Sure. <laughs> sure. Why not? Coming That'd soon to it's, a frozen it's, lake near you. It's more about a social <laughs> gathering, so you know. We all do it with family and friends and stuff like that yeah. separately. We haven't really put together anything together yet. <laughs> so playing music is a good. Communal activity for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, how did you meet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it stems way back. Yeah. Way it goes many, way back. I don't know what, 15 years or so. Um, I was playing in this band, and uh, we didn't have a bassist, and we were playing a big barn party. There was probably I don't know five six hundred people there, and we were terrible, man. We sucked. <laughs> it was awful. I should not have been playing music in front of that many people. <laughs> But this guy was up in the rafters and noticed you needed a bass player and Jerry and I connected. Two drums, two guitarists. Yeah, we connected and way. the other layers kind of shed off and Jerry and I kind of went on a journey and ended up meeting all these people. Little Doug. And then it was Doug yeah. was the next. I got yeah. picked up by a guy hitchhiking and ended up at his house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. And we found Meg on... Like side, the side of the street, street. in Dover. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aaron Literally. Aaron poached band. me. Yeah. Oh yeah, poached we stole him from another, another band. band. Aaron used to be in, it was a Lowell band, uh, Hot it Day was. at the Zoo. Hot yeah. Day at the Zoo. Hot Day yeah. at the Zoo, he was the banjo player. He was for. the banjo player. That's right, and I called him up and I said, Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> do you want to play in the rhythm ship? And here he is. It's a very New Hampshire beginning. Oh, and then you. <laughs> oh, I met Jamie. Jamie met him at a yard sale. <laughs> you bought him at a yard sale. Jeez, I don't know. It's bizarre, but I did. I met him at a yard sale. And then didn't hear from him for like a year. And we yeah, were man. Because we exchanged numbers. Yeah. I'm, He's this dude. It was kind of funny. He was just selling a bunch of records, and um, had his, he plays his initial um, instrument is bass. So he is playing his big washboard seven string fretless bass. <laughs> I'm watching this guy go crazy, he's fantastic. And that was huh? right after I got it back because it was stolen yeah. for six years. Yeah, and it was after that I, I didn't talk to you for six months or so. I didn't or know where he was. Even, it I was, was a year. year. Yeah. It was a year, and you called him, and we were in yeah, Wakarusa, we in yeah, Arkansas. Because I had a gig and, and with yeah. another band, and uh, people had to drop out, so I was like, hey, anyway, <laughs> come play that's, drama. That's that. Basically, it's it all fate. It yeah. was all fate. Hold it down on keys and uh, guitar. Are you gonna play mandolin too? Oh, well, maybe. Right. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Whatever's needed. <laughs> yeah. Jack of all. I like to jump no around. Sometimes we do like two bases because of the seven string fretless on top of. It's really too bad <laughs> we can't get you like a giant bungee rack where you can like. Yeah. I just like just, you know, just dangling right in. Physically, from yeah. instrument what does station Dean to station. Play? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, man. I want to know what Dean plays. <laughs> it, it, Dean is mysterious. You, you never really know. Dean, Dean is his chin. <laughs> nice to meet you. Wait, who's got the glasses? <laughs> this is Where awesome. are the glasses? Do you have the glasses? Do you have the glasses? No, I don't. The I don't have the glasses. glasses. Um, oh, no. Well, anyway, we'll have to bring out Dean That's later. That's a <laughs> So, you guys sounded really great earlier at rehearsal. Um, what would you consider some of your biggest musical influences in, as a band? Oh, as a band? First. <clears throat> this is my first guitar. I bought it in 1985 at the music shop in the Powerhouse Mall in Lebanon. And <laughs> since then, <laughs> I've changed it a little bit. And I tried to turn it into an electric banjo. It doesn't quite work. But I took two of the strings off. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? You can happens? see that. I don't know if the cameras can see it, but and then I kind of replace one of the strings with a smaller string, like that would be on a banjo. So it's not tuned right now, obviously. But the, the result is it sounds like electric banjo, but it's a little bit different. He's got this great picture of him when he's just a little kid. How old are you in that? Seven maybe? Eight. Eight. And he's got those big tube socks on with the three stripes at the top, and he's just holding his guitar like, yeah. <laughs> he's and a rocker from the birth, man. The button on the strap 
<laughs> Where's the best place so you can read the button? <laughs> what does the button say? Okay, can you see it? Can you read it? something good. <laughs> and it says, it? It what says does it say? imagination is more important than knowledge. So is that your influence? Yeah, Albert Einstein <laughs> said that. Is Albert Einstein your musical influence? <laughs> Absolutely. That imagination is. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> keep imagination mass and general. energy moving. Jesus, and I, any... I thought I, I was all top deep. That's... I can't Radiohead. You just pull sounds Huge out of the influence. universe. It's just like, you know, sometimes you just connect to it. I agree with that. You, you know. get a definite, like, connector rod every once in a while just given to you. It's a gift. And, this hat uh, is actually lined with tinfoil right When you right find now. that. Oh, <laughs> to no. increase when you find the that happening to you, you try to reach out to the people that are around you that you know that are best musicians that you've ever felt with in your life. And it's a feeling, definitely. So... I feel lucky in, in getting those every once in a while and being able to share them with this fine crowd of people anyway. <laughs> yeah. These guys, yeah, it's, it's these guys we, tear it up. We have some fun, man. <laughs> we get a little weird, and none of us have ADD or anything like that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we, we're totally normal. And what? Normal Super normal. Like, so, it's fine. We're you're as normal it as it works. gets. So you're saying Hi, how are you? You're saying there's, like a, you're you're saying there's like a, a sort of a cosmic message sometimes that's fed to you, and you have to tap into that, and... Try to like work it out with everyone else too. I room. think so. I think everybody's getting them constantly, and that it's just a matter of like being able to be open enough to share that with the. It's it's a gift. I mean, if you want to be a giving person, then you give and you reciprocate back with the people that you love and you share this gift with. And and I'm I'm by no means a, an accomplished musician yet in my life, but I feel like I've been able to tap into an abundance of them around this area and it's it's definitely felt like family the whole time and I'm excited yeah, for that. Great. Basically we're all a bunch of hippies. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I definitely agree with what Jerry said. Sure. I think there's a, yeah. a way a, um, you know the song a song exists outside of the players I think and you, and you have to be open enough to tap into that um, and, and let it become what it should be on its own without trying to force it. And I think that in our past, I think for each of us, uh, I remember in the beginning, at least when I, when I met Jerry and Jamie, um, we, we all, at least I, I know, was, was coming out of a band that uh, was very, very crafted, very sculpted, um, and the people said, the song has to go this way, this is my song, this is how it goes, and I was told what to play a lot of the time. <laughs> And uh, you're not allowed to do anything else but this. <laughs> yeah, and it was, you know, it was very stifling. And I think the songs for that band were not allowed to uh, become what they could have been. And so for this band, from the very start, we we said uh, we're not going to let that happen, and we're gonna we're just going to follow the music where it takes us. That's awesome. I don't, I don't know the feeling. Yeah, it's like jazz. Like there's no rules. There shouldn't ever be rules in music. And I think that when you say you're gonna be this kind of band and you're gonna play this kind of music, you create rules for yourself. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna play what we wanna play. We wanna say, hey, let's try this sound. What if we did this? What? And there are no rules and it's fantastic and it definitely takes us on journeys. Yeah, that's like the premise yeah. of this band. It's just exploration. You know, like yeah. feeling each other. I mean, there are rules to some extent. No, I mean, man, we're so... no rules, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have some sort of format, obviously, right. you know, but it's open to each turn, each, yeah. um, you know, in turn. It's, it has to sound good. It's a, it's a yeah. process where everybody brings something to Rule the table one, and we all try and back each other up with what, whatever ideas there are for that particular piece. I, mean, I think in the past, like, probably three to four weeks, We've had just mild little get-togethers where we've had dinner and stuff like that, and songs just start erupting from the table. Everybody's talking about new ideas all the time, and and whoever brings the piece up front, it's like it just everybody's piling on the back of it and trying to like expand it and make it something that it can be, and yeah. and not not putting walls up, but just expanding and opening your arms to whatever anybody's ideas can be. Well, that's what creates originality, really. Yeah. Everyone being accepting of each other and the influence they have instead of thinking it's got to be a certain way. So that's where we, I think we tap into all areas for where the, we've been doing a lot of acoustic stuff lately where we really haven't done that in the past where I'd like to see come out more. I mean, Aaron plays 
all kinds of different stringed instruments from banjo to pedal steel and you know he's a soundsmith but you know so it's just cool to see the new ideas come coming here we it's it's been rushing in pretty good lately so i'm pretty excited yeah i think we expect that that, that uh a song will not end up sounding the way it starts. Oh. And when you bring a song to the table, it's going to change. And uh, and we leave it up to the to the players as far as what you know. I'm not going to tell Aaron how to play guitar. Um, you know. So we yeah. we all we all have our own uh, touch that we bring to it. And I think if, that if if we weren't, you know, I think that's why it works. If it's if we weren't happy with what someone is doing, then we you know we wouldn't tell them what to do. I think that. You know, we would find someone else, but we don't want to do that because right. it's settled into this formation organically. And, yeah. You know, uh, for a reason, and yeah. it's about the people behind mm -hmm. the instruments in their minds, what what they would do. You know, when Aaron came in, he said, well, "What should I do? What you know? What did they? What what happened to the past?" And we said, "We don't want to oh, have yeah. that. Yeah. We want what yeah. you it's do. Like you yeah. play, you play what, what you, you want to play. Well, yeah. what should I do here? Whatever you, whatever what, feels right for you. Yeah. yeah. Whatever yeah. instrument, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's we, no one can tell you how to yeah. play. You got to find yeah. out from within, man. Do the songs continue to change, or do they sort of settle into a set, to a sound? <laughs> they, say they continue well, to change. They continue. <laughs> Some of these songs yeah, are eight, like, nine, ten years old, and yeah. we are not. Oh God, not we are not anymore. the musicians yeah. that we were back then. No. We're much better. We're much more ma mature and yeah. evolved as musicians. And um, exactly, we're not done writing them yet. There's yeah. always new, you know. They may be ten-year-old songs, but we're they're constantly There's fresh. Always new mistakes. To make. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's right. You can yes. screw up in so many mm -hmm. fun new ways. Yeah, hey, possibilities you know, are limitless. Make That's part right. of the dance, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Can you tell me about one of the best shows you guys ever played? Ooh, wow. tough one. You played a lot of shows. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to say, it was Hempstock. The year that um, we did that memorial for Tex. Yeah, that was the remember? washing machine. And we night, played, right? we played that, right after then. One, yeah. Was that the washing machine or was that when it was I raining? I don't know. That was the washing machine Aurora Borealis. Sorry, we've got to get this straight. Yeah. Yeah. No, that wasn't really. the Aurora. No, that wasn't. Crew. That was like that was BB <laughs> Jammin or something like that. Or so, that was at Somerset County. Well, that this one... was diff That was a good one. But I, the energy that night, it was Hempstock, definitely. And there are pictures, and it's like, oh yikes, Ooh, like what was happening on stage? But it was magic. No, it was really good. Well, it was so really good about magic. it. The was energy it was just. That, um, we've, we sort of have good luck with weather. Yeah, it, um, it was warm yeah. and it, it well, stopped raining. It was raining. It was pouring when we took the stage. I think it was this one, right? We opened with Shantoon. I don't know. I don't what know. We opened well, with. Well, it was pouring when we took the stage, <laughs> and this Jeez. happens. This has happened a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we used to do the festival series uh, in Starks, Maine, all. Pretty much every festival, I think we played for six years straight, and um, it would rain a lot up there, and it, it was pretty much guaranteed to rain every day. Seemed and, like uh, it. Yeah, it seemed like it. And we, for anyone. some reason, when we would take the stage, the it's rain perfect. would stop, um, and we would, and people started to think, you know, well, the rhythm ship brings the sun, you know, mm -hmm. or the moon, depending. And uh, and we took the stage. I think it was this time, yeah. and it was pouring rain, and. Um, and you know, we started playing. We kind of just knew, you know, the weather will cooperate. Don't worry about it. And uh, and we got on. And by the time we finished our, I think the first or second song, the moon was out, um, and then people started coming down. It was, so it was cool. you know, mm. so it would. We we tend to have good luck with weather, but that was yeah. definitely a magical time. Yeah. And that was. Uh, that I just I just remember the energy mm. from that night. Like just thinking about it, kind of gives you. Tables. I have one that tops that though, real right. quick. Um, oh, yeah. I think, for me personally, <laughs> personally, I, it was my personal favorite one. It was, um, it was the night of the Aurora Borealis. It was, it was so visible that, was that yeah. night. It was nature's light show. It was great. Like right behind us. Yeah, like it, it, the, the field. It's a long sloping field, and the, and the stage sets kind of at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's like a big natural amphitheater. It's really a cool spot. Harry Brown's farm up north in Starks, Maine. It's a really great place. Uh, to see music and awesome community up there. I love the people and it's just a lot of fun. Any, anyway, um, that that night I built this washing machine. I gutted it and I filled it with lights and a fog machine and sound activation. So we broke down into some like psychedelic groove. I jumped 
I hit the switch and unveiled this thing, and it's this fogging, flashing washing machine. And I was I jumped up on it, and I was playing it with a ukulele. I would like use it to slap the side of the washing machine, kind of like, you know, and just it was a lot of fun. It was. There was like splinters of the ukulele going everywhere. Yes, you know, smashing the ukulele at the end. There people at the edge of the stage like. <laughs> then, what is yeah, that there's some thing? Fun, there's, there's, some no there's no rules. There's no rules. The, on the, the stage. best one is you got up on it. You're jumping up and down, and there's one with your feet off the washing machine, up in the air, yeah. jumping up on. That it. was yeah. to me. That was a fun show. Yeah, that, that was fun too. What do you call that instrument? The washing machine. The washing machine. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I couldn't come up with anything. I mean, I Watch it, was, it was pretty much destroyed after that show, so it was a one-time thing. <laughs> yeah. That was the one, and the ukulele. That and the was, ukulele was, it was just splinters. splinters. Yeah. yeah. So. It's fun. I mean, there's, there's no rules to the stage. You could do anything you want. I mean, we could sit here going all night of the weirdness that we've come oh, across. Yeah. And we've had a lot of fun on stage. Yeah. So it sounds like your best shows weren't necessarily ones where you performed the best musically, but it was more about the environment, where it was, the circumstances, yeah. the weather, and the yeah. mood, and yes, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, sure, we're going to have our the days where we're like, oh, man, we bombed yeah. that show, yeah. or the other ones where you're really high on a yeah. show. But yeah, it's all, it boils down to a feeling and a vibe of that show. You don't get show. to pick when you nail it. I don't care right. how oh, yeah. and you try. Music you isn't you just could about try all music. you want and, and so play your fingers till they bleed. But yeah. it's not. I don't think it's your choice when you connect with other people. It's everybody just locking in and feeling it and being family together. I think is what makes it much more significant into your life than than just being a technical musician and 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 being you know, succumb to like what somebody's preparing for you for notes. It's like a, a TV dinner, but <laughs> with us, I think it's a little what? bit different where it's a little We're bit... We're not a TV dinner, we're meat potatoes. <laughs> we're, we're, like a a more homemade. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little bit more homemade and organic, you know. It's, um, it's all about like, what are you feeling tonight in the soup? All right. Hey, so thanks for having us up to New Hampshire, guys, at your space. You sound great. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, well, thanks thank for you coming. All. And um, let's get back to some music. Uh, this is a live show from the Rhythm Ship here on LTC. Thanks for watching, you guys. We try real hard. <laughs> <laughs>
sting right on down the bend. You can never catch it. You can only chase its lights. And as time grows shorter, and I'm stuck with that consequence. The longer I burn, the less I feel my.
shoes on my feet And I'm walking Tapping that fucking beat in my head And I'm walking on Without a nickel in my pocket But I'm walking in a positive light This is the first day
Unite, they're not too straight. 